I just, uh, well, not just, but I, I recently uh, recorded and edited my uh, weight loss video. Um, it, <laughs> this is one of those things where it is, it's humbling because, well, one, I sat down and I kind of just did like a general um, outline, I've already thrown away the uh, index card, but a general outline of what I was going to talk about, and that was it. Everything else came off the dome. Recording the video, and that wasn't hard. The hard part for me was uh, editing the video. That was hard because. <laughs> Like, I, I have to take myself back to, and I actually accidentally lied in the video because I said August, wait, was it, wait, hold on, yeah, I said August, I should have said September, one month difference, who really cares, but the pictures that I took, and one, I wanted to timestamp, or date and timestamp everything, because, you know, you know how, there's a lot of people that want to, that are messy, and you know, people want to sit here and research you, try to dig into your past, this and third, they want receipts and everything. I'll provide that myself. So I date and time stamped everything because I, I didn't want anyone to even remotely try to say, oh, he came on the YT skinny and this is him trying to front for us. Not the case. Definitely not the fucking case, okay? But in editing the video, and even in um, selecting the pictures of me being heavy, <sighs> it's nerve wracking. How my phone's going off? What's this? I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, <clears throat> it's nerve wracking, and it's one of those where one is hard to take the picture because I can I remember when I took the picture and it was in my phone. And going through my pictures, skipping, like literally doing everything I can to make sure that I did not see that picture. Because it was one of those where it's like, it wasn't that I was disgusted, I was mad. Because I was just like, how did I let myself go to this point? And having the picture in my phone, I think that partially added some motivation. But And I didn't take a picture with my shirt off, more or less, of me at my heaviest. Because honestly, I just didn't think to do it. I'm just going to be honest. And the only reason why I show the picture of me in uniform is that is the only picture that I have of me being at. Actually, no, I have another picture, but it has someone else in it. And I just didn't feel like doing a lot of cropping. But that was literally my going away when I got my war and everything prior to leaving Korea. But even still, looking at those pictures, it's hard. It's hard. But also in doing it and showing where I'm at now, you know, it kind of makes me just, it makes me happier. It's like, okay, I'm making progress. And then doing the thumbnail again, it's like, okay, here's this damn picture of me being heavy. But juxtaposing it with the picture of me being, you know, slimmer. I don't know, like, I, I, I when I come on here, I hope, like, especially with the vlogs, I hope that I'm conveying myself where it's like, I'm not, well, one, I'm not coming off as being weird, but you understand. Because honestly, like, for those who have never, I don't want to say never been big. I, I don't want to invalidate anybody because you have some people where for some of us bigger people, they are skinny, but they have mild imperfections or they might be thin and have a just a slight little gut and they might be self-conscious about it. So I don't want to ever sit here and invalidate uh, anybody's feelings of, well, in general. I, I don't want to do that because... That's wrong. But there are some people that, even in talking to them, they don't know what it is to be big. They just don't. So it's like looking at these old pictures, it's like, uh -huh. And most of the time, we are our own worst critics. So I can sit here and be like, well, damn, this was that, this was that. See the role here. It's a whole lot. But it's rewarding at the end of the day to be able to see the video, see where I like where I've, where I've gotten to and I think 
normally I can give two fucks about people's opinions of me. And I'm just going to be honest because it is what it is. But this is one of those where, and again, I'm saying this on the vlog, so I'm exposing it. But this is a bit of a soft spot. <laughs> and I am at everybody's fucking mercy right now. Like, literally, if people want to come out, you know, and just launch a full-on assault on me, you know, it's possible, it's plausible. But because January is going to be a rough month, I have the next six weeks pretty much going to be devoted to nothing but weight loss. A lot of these bullets are probably just going to pass by me, and I'm probably just not going to get them. And if I do get them, hopefully by then, it's just like, meh, whatever. But, yeah. This video has like 14 minutes left to upload. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I, I, I'm truly fucking nervous. <laughs> Because, I don't know, but I'm nervous. I, I really am. Hopefully, um, everyone receives this the right way. And if it inspires at least one per well, actually, if it not only inspires, but if it inspires and pushes someone to make lifestyle changes and work to become a better them, I can have, uh, uh huh? that was mm, nasty <laughs> um i can have 2000 dislikes and only two like and only you know 12 views <laughs> you know that's really not possible but you get what i'm saying like i can have so much negative uh energy coming to this video but if only one per like if one person is motivated and it helps them change their lives and their perspectives then Whatever I endure is well worth it. That's pretty much it. So stay tuned. Because uh, like I said, it's late at night. Today's been a lazy day. It, it really has. It's been a lazy day. Between dealing with all the damn YouTube and social media drama that's been going on. And just everything else. And, you know, the rough week that I've had in general. <laughs> This today was just a lazy day, and it's one in the fucking morning. And realistically, I want, yeah, I'm about to turn this video off because I want to wake up around 6:45 to physically be like outside. Cause I want to be outside at seven. It's not gonna work. But yeah, as long as I am physically outside and walking by eight, I'll be fine. Cause I want to go on my morning walk. Cause tomorrow is Saturday. Well, it's Saturday now, so it'll be Saturday morning. I also need to go to. Um, the store, pick up some food, take you guys on that journey just so you guys can kind of see what it is that I'm doing. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy a whole lot though, but go shopping, do some meal prep because like I said, Sunday it begins and I have a program that I'm just going to submerge myself in and we're going to see how this plays out, but I know that I can do it. I'm 226 now. I don't know how much weight I'm about to lose on this program, but it It'll be a rough week. So you guys are going to see it. Uh, like, because like I said, I mean, it's only a handful of y'all that really watch these vlogs. But this, but for those of you who watch me here, I you have no idea how thankful I am. Because that shows that, hey, you're actually interested in my life. <laughs> and I know, like, the last vlog you saw, literally, it was me sitting right here the whole entire time. I am so sorry, like I said, but... You're going to see me out on the move at a minimum tomorrow, so it's time to get it in, y'all. It's time to get it in. Okay, so I just came back from Sam's and got quite a bit. First off, bam, got me two uh, more bottles. Like I said, I was actually looking at these on bodybuilding.com. Uh, if I remember to do it, I'll kind of put like a price comparison, but that was like 20 you know, nice little deal. I don't really eat a whole lot of processed food, but I thought, all right, this would be good. You know, it's a little bit of a tree. Got me some nanners, cashews. Now, even though I don't use a lot of condiments, I do have some barbecue sauce. I'll tell you guys a little bit about why later. I mean, I'm going to just show y'all because I don't get no food. Got me some baby wives. Why? Because that's what I wipe my ass with. Nothing but the best for this ass. 
but uh, onions, I'm gonna actually sweat the entire bag. Uh, sweet potatoes, I have two bags of uh, tilapia, a 10 pound bag of chicken breast, and of course y'all know I fucking love broccoli. So just stay tuned a little bit, I'll be back to actually, you know, show you guys how I cook some of this, prep some of this, you know, show you guys about the meal prep, but even though I don't do this often, ba -ba -da -da, outfit of the day, somewhat, <laughs> like I said, I really don't do style, but you know, just something simple, thought I, you know, be green today, but not green with envy, alright you guys, I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll do some cooking. Alright, y'all about to get this place. So, I have this big 10 pound bag of uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Yes. Opening it up, and pretty much it's still frozen. And that's cool. Like I said, I, I like it that way. All that I want to do is take these pieces, nice, like I said, it's like, uh, it's like big pieces. I'm just gonna throw them in a pan, give them a nice light season. Try my best not to like, stack them too much. Yeah, that's good. So I'm probably gonna have to cook this in maybe three to four batches. And I'm not gonna season it because I want these to be bland. You'll see why when I get done. So I'm gonna cover this with foil. And this is gonna cook in my toaster oven, 350 degrees. After the 375 for two hours. And I'm gonna put one little sheet on that because I have to rip the end accidentally. It's alright. Pretty much what I'm going to do is give me a second to throw this in the fridge. Pretty much what I'm going to do is, well, actually, yeah, I'm going to uh, peel them, cut them, uh, throw them in a food processor, grind them up, and pretty much let them like sweat in this pot here until they're nice, trans well, actually, not even translucent when they're just like a nice brown color, nice and sweet. So. Show you guys that. I, kind of let you guys, I want you guys to like see what I've been doing with the onions. So, <clears throat> I said I have these right here chopped ready to go in the food processor. And in the food processor, you can see like how I have finally I have them shredded or chopped. And in here, like I said, I have it on as you can see two tablespoons of olive, extra virgin olive oil cold pressed. That's it, just two tablespoons. And like I said, if you guys can truly, truly. See if I can turn the light on if you guys can see it better. But, um, oh no, it's um, pretty much simmer on the lowest heat. So, all I want you to do is sweat. So, pretty much, we're going to empty this out into the pie, blend those, empty those, and pretty much let them sweat. It's going to take a while and it's going to take a lot of constant stirring, but I guarantee you the end result is going to be delicious and you can use it in so many different recipes. So, I'm actually going to use these in uh, my frittata cups. For tomorrow morning so yep that's it for the onions for right now okay so my timer just went off so I'm in here to like work on everything so right now this is the onions I've kept the top on it I've let it sweat and you guys can see the liquid I said I mean because it's a vegetable so it's going to have the liquid so now that this is done and I even put like as you guys saw two tablespoons of uh, oil don't really like you really don't need to you could do this without the oil but because of how much this is going to make it really doesn't matter so i can let this continue to cook on low heat without the cover now and i said yes you know this went off so i'm going to sit this down for a second and then i want to pull out the chicken and make sure that it's done so we're going to on. position it nicely Okay, 
so it's done. Like I said, you guys can see. And I know it looks crazy. Since most is going to look disgusting. But this is fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this to a bowl. Uh, put a top on it, but don't close the top all the way. Kind of let it seep. Let the heat, you know, go up, condensate, you know, drip back down. And when this uh, pretty much comes workable by the hands, I'm going to hand shred this with the uh, juice that is created and everything else. And you know what? I'll let you guys see this. I'm going to put this in a bowl. I'm going to do the next batch. I'm going to kind of do this and repeat. You guys will see what this is going to pretty much evolve into and what you can do with this. So, if y'all been like, oh my gosh, I don't want to buy this much chicken breast or whatnot, I'm telling you, perfect recipe, well, perfect little, how can I say, buy ahead and, you know, be able to make some other stuff out of it. So, I'll be right back, you guys see this chicken, again, don't be turned off, but you'll see what I make out of it. <clears throat> okay, so, what I'm about to do is shred the chicken. First, I'm going to go ahead and pour the broth in there. I'm telling you guys, this is going to help. And for anyone who's ever dealt with chicken breast, you know that chicken breast can become very, very dry, very, very fast. So having that in there and then peeling, pretty much shredding the chicken breast by hand and dropping it back in with the broth is going to help so much. And then with reheating, and we're not really adding nothing to this. And again, the chicken itself, I didn't flavor it. So, I'll save that for when it's actually time to actually season, you know, the actual uh, dishes. But if I could just slide this up and just let y'all see that. Yeah. That's that good stuff. So, like I told you guys, starting tomorrow, doing this program, y'all. And I already have what I want to eat, more or less, uh, already down. Just put it into play. Like I said, it has the macros. I understand that I'm supposed to try to hit all of them. I am more or less concerned about hitting fiber and protein like I was the last time. And the crazy thing is, like I said, for the first week, the carbs are going to be um, the same amount of, yeah, about the same amount of carbs. I'm going to eat the same amount of protein I need to eat. Weeks two and three is going to drop down to one gram per pound. And then the last three weeks is going to drop down to pretty much um, half a gram per pound of weight. Which, I'm like, okay, I can do that, no problem. That part's actually going to be easy. But again, it's just the workouts that I am truly, truly concerned about. Now, while I'm shredding this up, what I want you guys to start thinking about yourselves before I come back on here. We're just talking now. Is... What can you make with shredded chicken breast? And I mean, if you guys can see this, this this is juicy, okay? Like, I know y'all probably looking like, okay, you are a little bit too into this. But I mean, I love food and just shredding this up and then it makes it easy to um, weigh on the scale. Like I said, y'all know I do portion control and I gotta weigh everything. But yeah, and I mean, here's the like, even when all this is said and done, it's going to be sitting in natural juices. So, you, like I said, it's no preservatives, none of that. And then if you want, you can go ahead and sort this. I, I will actually sort some of this by um, ounces. Don't quite know how many ounces just yet. But, yeah. And this is the first of a couple of batches. Batch 2 is actually in the oven right now. And I'm actually, as soon as I get done shredding this by hand, I'll go ahead and um, crank this up and let it do this last hour. But from right here, what you can do is you can sit here and do chicken stir fries from this shredded chicken. I mean, okay, I'm trying to do this without messing too much stuff up. I said I went and got some barbecue sauce today, and I don't plan on using a whole lot of that, but still, I can sit here and make some barbecue chicken. And if I want to throw that on some bread, eat as is, maybe throw it on a, a wrap, just a <laughs> little stuff such as that. I will be using some chicken, not this chicken, because this is fresh. I do have some leftover chicken that you guys are going to see me use for uh, my breakfast uh, frittata cups. But yeah. And then 
and just throw it a little extra on top of that. And pretty much this is all that there is. It is nice and juicy, and this chicken is not dried out. So, rinse my hands right quick. But this is pretty much what you guys, what I'm gonna do with all the chicken, and pretty much from here be able to weigh it out and use it. So, it's one of those things where even if you think that buying in bulk is crazy, showing you what you can do. Again, if you portion this out and freeze it, even with all of this juice, you know, hopefully you can see all of the juice that is in there. It's wonders. And already having pre-cooked chicken frozen, you just throw it in the pan and just go. So we'll come back and I'll let you see how I further put all this together. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my little uh, breakfast uh, frittata cups. So, got me five eggs in there. And yes, it is morning time. And I had a little too much fun last night, kind of like celebrating the victories this weekend. So, that doesn't matter. Still in there, you know, get in the So, I'm gonna hit them. Whisk up five eggs. Four ounces of our chicken that I pretty much threw in the uh, food processor when it's out. So that's four. And then I have the uh, onions that I did yesterday. So you guys can see them. Let me see if I can, yeah, yeah. Nice and sweated. So try, I think mm, two tablespoons would be good. I don't think I need more than that because. I think even doing two is going to overcome it. I, like I said, I love the sweetness. And pretty much all that I'm going to do is mix this up. Okay. And <clears throat> I mean, of course, I can sit here and then the vegetable, you have to put potato or like whatever. Like, and you actually, you can too, put whatever you want in it. This is what I'm going to do. And then slide my little pet tin over here. And this is why I'm doing them as cups. It's going to make it so much easier. And especially if you're trying to watch your fat content, you do it like this because you know when you, you know when make a frittata, you got to sit here and add other fat, you know, fat. And then, you know, fry it up and then bake it. I'm just going to go straight in the oven with it. And it's looking like I'm going to have to do another batch. I over, I overdid myself with this one. Yeah. Yeah, but I might have to do another set unless I like sit here and literally like feel these all the way up. And I'm probably going to because I don't want to do another batch of these. I mean, I will. I just like want to. Oh, wait, wait. I think I might have it. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to have to clean this up though because some of it, like some has spilled over. I'm not the neatest person. I'm the neatest poor. Yeah, I did it. Okay. I have six frittata cups, and like, cause I'm sitting here like, I know this is gonna fit. The only thing is, had I added even more of anything to this, then I would have had to have done another batch, which is five eggs, four ounces of um, um, chicken, and two um, tablespoons of the sweated onion. So these are gonna go in the oven. I didn't really show show you guys the uh, onions. Here they are. Like when I say they sweat it, baby, they sweat it. And like I said, awesome. Now, if you put these in the fridge, I mean, there is an expiration. You don't want to leave them in there. I want I will say for more than uh, I'll say a week, but five days is truly pushing it. Well, five days, seven days is pushing it. But if you know you're not going to use it, I will say section this off, put it into like small, you know, zipper bags. And pull it out as needed, but five pounds, and as you saw, like it like filled up the um, pot here. This is what it sweated down to. And trust me, these are sweet and delicious, or as I would say, delicious. All right, you guys. So as you can see here, sipping on my protein shake. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> these little uh, frittata cups. So six of those. These are like I think. Uh, what was it, um, 400 and like, I think, 65 calories? <clears throat> and all together, because if I'm not mistaken, the uh, chicken gave me, um, 
20 grams of protein. The eggs gave me 30. So altogether 50. And I know that it's recommended. You only eat out uh, 20 grams of protein in a sitting. So even if you wanted to, you could pretty much just take, you know, two of these and go. And these freeze easy. <clears throat> they rich they uh, refrigerate well. So if you want it, you could I'll turn this on. You could make this in advance, you know, but me, uh, like I said, y'all know I have a lot of um, protein to ingest, so when I actually end up eating all of these, I still some way, somehow need to factor in some um, oats, some oats, so, yeah, and then still, like I said, I still have <clears throat> my dinner, I still have uh, lunch, my post-workout meal and everything, I still gotta work out, That's pro I'm probably gonna go to the gym around one. Oh no, I gotta do my trending topics. Okay, wait, 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 wait. After I do my trending topics, <clears throat> hit up the gym. But then and I'm still gonna try to get in uh my I, I need I, and I keep moving the damn camera. I still need to go and do my walk. If I can muster it, I'm gonna try to get a walk in. So whew, it's gonna be a rough eve. It's gonna be a rough day, but damn it, I'm gonna get it done. Because I really meant to hit the gym up this morning. But like I said, I had too much fun last night. And they're, um, yeah. But <clears throat> to make these, like I said, you saw me make them real simple. And if you guys are trying to make a quick breakfast, it's not going to take a long time. Throw you some eggs in a bowl. Throw you some meat. Some whatever veggies you want. Stir some stir. Pour in a cup. And as you can see, like I said, I the little muffin liners. Ain't got nothing to clean, baby. Nothing to clean. Alright y'all, so I'm actually late eating, like, today's just been an off day, and I still got so much to do, but right now, I'm doing some onion roast potatoes, so I have, I pretty much did like five potatoes, I don't even know how much it all weighed out to, I weigh them in the end, but pretty much diced them, I have like, what, four tablespoons of uh, olive oil in here, and this is just onion powder, garlic powder, and some seasoning salt, so... Make sure this thing is up. Oh, yeah, I had to check it. So, it's oven on 375. And pretty much, if you guys want to make this, make sure that you cover this. But also remember that depending on the pan, will do a lot to the potatoes. Like, if you use uh, one of those, uh, you know, tin foil pans, you know, you won't get, you probably won't get like a sear, like a browning, but like with this particular pan here, it's going to, you know, sear it like that. So pretty much this is going to cook for two hours in the oven. So, well, actually it's going to cook two hours cover. And then I'm going to uncover it and then I'm going to put some of the uh, uh, sweated onions in it and then let it finish cooking and then I got my burgers over here. Make sure y'all can see them burgers. Y'all can see them burgers. And they onion soup burgers. Uh, all you do is take uh, a pound of uh, hamburger meat. Get you uh, some uh, onion soup mix. One of these per pound. You can use more, but be careful with it because at the same exact time, I mean, there is a lot of salt, sodium, all the good jazz, so y'all don't want to overdo it. And the pan's pretty hot. And before I even put these in here, you guys see that these burgers are flat, right? You want to try to make them flat because the more surface area you have, the faster that they're going to cook. Because if I just made these solid, the thicker they are, it's going to take so much time to cook through them. But the flatter they are, the better. That's just how I do it, so. All right, and pretty much going to cook these. And when it's all said and done, this is, believe it or not, this is actually my lunch, y'all. <laughs> Don't judge me. And I still have uh, tilapia, no, not tilapia, flounder in the fridge that is thawed that I still have to cook and eat. Y'all, I'm, I'm all types of backwards, but you guys will see that. I'm also going to show you guys how I, uh, you know, do some simple, you know, soft slash hard boiled eggs. So, you know, y'all will get some more in the kitchens today, okay? All right, you guys, so here are the onion soup burgers. Whew. Got some tackling to do. And like I said, I have my eggs. Pretty much a way to do them is get them all in there. Don't stack them. Pour enough water just to like cover all of them and then put a uh, top over it. And once it comes to a rapid boil, turn it off. 
let it sit for like six minutes and then pour it into like ice cold water and pretty much let them uh you know cool off that's pretty much it you guys all that's left at this point is uh the uh, potatoes and yeah yeah when i oh. it's just a lot of that i gotta eat y'all a lot of that and i still got protein powder to drink in it yeah yeah it's a lot just now uh, what you want to do is you want to check this at like an hour in and my toast server only goes up to an hour so i took it out to stir it up well funny thing is it is already cooked all the way through never really happens but hey it is what it is so all that i'm going to do is i'm just pretty much going to start putting um the onions in there i want to toss it throw it back in the oven uncover it, and then pretty much let it cook and hey y'all that's it like i said the longest part is the onions making those onions because that, that's a gowers potatoes it don't take that damn long and i mean hell you can put it in there forget about it okay well let me phrase that you can forget about the onions with this right here you know this is one of the way you can just throw it in there do what you got to do come back an hour to two hours depending you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this off my eggs i have yet to come to they're boiling like slightly but it's not it's not a rapid boil so those should be done so i pretty much just toss these with the onions and the funny thing is i literally just talked to y'all about the whole rapid boil well it's at a rapid boil so at this point i'm going to turn it off six minutes let it set and pretty much from there dump it in some cold water that's it those eggs are going to be done very very soon and i do them in batches like that y'all have to do them in big batches like that but i like eggs but that right there is how i make my eggs i'm just just saying i probably should leave it on the eggs but that's pretty much how i make my eggs y'all <laughs> so if you want to make hard boys you can try uh this way and like i said always you know tweak it to you know your life all right you guys this is the last of the food onion roasted potatoes they're out you can also throw roasted garlic in here and you can do a whole whole lot let me tell you but it's something that i make and this is one of those that even though i'm single you know i can divide this up with like you know anywhere from four to even six uh portions and have it you know during the week and like i said more or less try if i do have this trying to eat it more or less in like the early afternoon only because some of the fact, you know, it being how do I see make all the other good jazz, but you guys get it. Yeah, and uh, with all these recipes, just let me know what y'all like and how they turn out. Uh, all right, you guys, so this is pretty much ending the vlog for the day. Y'all got a lot, <laughs> especially seeing me in the kitchen. The only thing that I, I uh, forgot to do is I did forget to actually kind of like take you guys through the store with me as I was shopping but at the same exact time y'all didn't want to see me walking up every motherfucking aisle I know you didn't um but yeah this this first and foremost I'm like what really messed me up today is like I was I was slow to start one two you know like I said I did do some drinking yesterday so that right there it's one of those, well, you know when you do a lot of drinking the night before, how you really don't wake up hungry, <laughs> you know, so it, so I really wasn't hungry. Um, again, having to force myself to eat breakfast again, I told you I don't like that, but again, I want to try to my best to follow this program to the T and all this protein. I'm still not done. Okay, let me tell you, I am still not done. I still have to finish this protein shake because uh, I have made it. I drank half of it during the workout. I still have this left over. Let me go to my fitness pal. Because like I said, I like to like preload what I'm going to eat and even then having to sometimes change it. I still have those uh, two onion soup burgers that I have to ingest. Um, I still have to eat... Um, three of those eggs of the hard boiled eggs i still got to eat that and then i have one more protein shake that i'm going to drink before i go to bed and that's uh, a slow release so all of the like the um i'm trying to see like okay i don't just have it readily sitting screw it but i have two different uh, protein powders one that's just a regular protein powder the other one that i think has a uh, uh, casing and it's supposed to be a slow release, so I'm going to drink that right before I go to bed. So while I'm sleeping, you know, it's slowly going through my body and recovering. 
and this is uh, not to mention like I got videos to do tonight too so y'all I'm about to I'm about to be sitting here watching like literally y'all probably not gonna see it but I'm, I'm gonna be sitting here taking those eating food doing a video like doing all of that <laughs> like y'all <laughs> whoo your boy gonna be tired but when I say a lot of protein this is this is a lot of fucking protein Two again, y'all. Two. What is it? Two hundred. I think it's eight. Two hundred eighty-five grams of fucking protein. My ass have to ingest on the regular. Hold on. Hold on. Two eighty-five, y'all. That's too much. That's that's too much. Mm mm. Like mm, too much. But I'm gonna get it done. Uh, like I said today was um. In terms of the workout, what was it? Uh, <clears throat> give me a second. <clears throat> yeah, today was uh, chest, triceps, and abs. Tomorrow is going to be pretty much be uh, shoulders, legs, and calves. And I'm still going to go on my walk after that. <laughs> I know some of y'all like, motherfucker, you doing too damn merch. I know I am, but... I'm not going to stop doing my walks. I'm not. I, I got to get those walks in. Not to mention, like I told you, I'm in like, what, five, six different uh, challenges with the map, my walk app. So, you know, I at least want to try to win one of them. Nah, come on. Come on now. Come on. So, uh, yeah. It's rough. It's rough. But I told you, I am dedicated. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm probably going to weigh myself uh, Saturday. And kind of see where I'm at. Um, but yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I mean, from the food to everything else. And like I said, I think had I not been so slow to start today, it wouldn't have been that bad. But, you know, it is what it is. So We'll see how tomorrow goes. And also, I get my uh, supplements uh, from, because uh, like I said, the uh, company is called Jim JYM. And the um, creator of the um, Shortcut Shred, his name is Jim, J-I-M, but Jim Stepani. So it's actually his company. And I should have those supplements in Tuesday, which means I can start using them Wednesday. So I'm like, all right, okay. So I'll do an unboxing, all that good jazz. But like I said, we're, we're all in this together. We are. And hopefully... If all goes well, I will be able to get my uh, dumbbells and whatnot and my bench, hopefully before the first. But, you know, we'll we'll see how that plays out. We will definitely see because if, if I can get that, it's going to make doing my workout so much easier. Because, again, I, I, I just don't like the gym scene. And, yeah, I just don't like the gym scene. I really hate it, you know. And it's one of those where I go in, I am in my own zone, but... Even just waiting for machines to open up like that, I y'all have no idea how much I hate that shit. And then people standing around and want to shoot the shit. And anyway, that's all I got. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this vlog. Like I said, I gave y'all some indications and everything else. Again, if you guys end up making any of these, let me know how they work for you, how they taste it. Just let me know. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys uh, on the next vlog. More than likely, what I'm probably going to do is I will probably, you know, do many vlogs, record myself for the next couple of days, and again, just merge it all together. Like I said, so you're either going to get one vlog at the end of this week, or you might get a couple this week. Only God knows, and only time will tell. But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me just talk on and on and on. And uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.